Hey guys. Happy Sunday. Jay to Kathy. I'm Kathy with Kathy's WW Journey. I hope everybody's Sunday morning is great. It's a beautiful morning out there. We had some storms going by last night. <laughs> Thunderstorms. It's like, yeah, it rained <laughs> for sure. All right. We're going to go through my quick review first. I have a few things to get through today. My goodness. Um, my weekly meal plan review. And also, okay. So, all right, Monday, we had the chili with the, excellent, with the grilled cheese. And then um, Tuesday, we had the rotisserie chicken with the zucchini zoodle mix. And I tell you, chicken and rotisserie, it, there's nothing better than that. It's just so good. And my husband bought a <clears throat> rotisserie attachment for his grill. And that was the best buy we've done all year. Um, it has paid for itself over and over. Okay. Wednesday, we had uh, fish with cauliflower rice and a vegetable. Thursday, we had steak and veggies. And Friday, we did the Philly cheesesteak, which I did film that, uh, the Philly cheesesteak bowls. And I'm pretty sure who first came up with it was Kirsty over at Planning Us Healthy. I'm pretty sure. Um, I'm pretty sure that's where I found it. I'm going to have to start jotting that down because I, I like to give out, if it's not my own recipe, even if I uh, adjust it, I like to give out that information where I originally got it from. Okay, and then um, yesterday we had chicken corn and blue casserole, which is a crusty, uh planting this healthy recipe. Um, that's just delicious. We have that from time to time. And then today we're having stuffed shells um, for six points. And we're having a chicken Italian sausage for two points. So that's eight points. Plus I'm going to have a vegetable with it. Okay. And let's see. I filmed the soft serve ice cream, which is yum. Then I did the what's in my fridge. You guys seem to like that one. And the Spanish Spanish style um, or Spanish spaghetti squash <laughs> with the vegetarian vegan sausage. That was excellent. Excellent. Um, and then we did the Philly cheesesteak bowls. And then yesterday I put up the carrot cake protein bars, which are really, really good, guys. If you like carrot cake, you're going to like these protein bars. Two points a piece, you know, on a blue plan. You're not going to go wrong with that. Okay. And this week's plan, I am doing, <laughs> there will be a cook with me on this one. I seen this recipe and it's uh, for a stuffed cabbage and it looked really good. It's different. Um, yeah, we're going to try that. So I'm doing it tomorrow. Um, Tuesday, we're going to. Uh, do a beef tenderloin. We're going to rotisserie it outside. And we're going to have vegetables for that. Wednesday I'm doing bang bang shrimp. Which I already have a video up on that. Just look through my playlist and you'll find it. Um, weigh in day. <laughs> we're doing breakfast night. So, uh, I got a new recipe for pancakes. And it's um, no flour pancakes. Or something I can't remember right off the top of my head but I'm gonna give them a whirl we'll see I might change who knows <laughs> and lunchy day we're gonna have grilled chicken um, on the Joseph's pita bread and I probably I don't know I might make a little vegetable soup with that I'm feeling soupy for some reason Okay, um, Saturday we're having spaghetti squash with chorizo, and it's going to be the chorizo that I make with the um, ground turkey or ground chicken, whatever I got in there. And then Sunday is pork chop day. Yay! <laughs> I love pork chop day. Alrighty. Well, to start off, I am 10 days binge free. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> that's 
my challenge, my uh, personal challenge, and my personal challenge was, um, what is it, to um, work out every day, at least a mile. And then three times a week, I'm going to do more than that, which today I've already done two miles. Um, so, yeah, I'm definitely keeping up with that. But the binging is, yeah, I'm so excited about that. Yay, yay, yay. Okay. Let me put that over there so I have that done. A little something. Um, I know, I don't know if you, over at Lainey's Life, and I'll put that down below. She's a Sensi consultant as well as a WW um, person. I mean, YouTuber. She's great. I love Lainey. Um, but that's, she's the one I get all my Sensi products from. Well, they finally, and it finally came in. I got my honey pot one. Isn't that adorable? Look at that. That is so cute. And it's this little Pooh face. I love Pooh. I love everything Disney, but I love Winnie the Pooh and Tigger and Piglet, all of them, all of the, all of the characters. I just love. So, I got that in. I want to show you. Thank you, Lainey. And then I'm always talking about my dryer disc. And I just wanted to show you guys. I won't use anything else. Um, and this one is the clothesline. This is, I say, it lasts a long time. A long time. This is my favorite one. I have about 10 packs back there. And you get two in a pack. Um, they are just fantastic. You don't have to use those dryer sheets that really... You're not supposed to use um, their fire hazards and whatever have you. Um, I use mine for dusting, whatever I had left over, because I won't use them anymore. I just use the Sensi. I can never be without these. So every if I start getting low, I get a little yancy, and I'll go hurry up and go <laughs> buy some more. <laughs> and I only buy the buy the one uh, scent because that's my favorite, the clothesline. Oh, perfect. So if any of you guys are interested in any of that, and she's got so much. They got the uh, milk can out one, which I got one, but it had like the rooster on it, of course. Everybody knows I love roosters. <laughs> roosters and dogs. <laughs> okay. So anyway, I'm going to put that down below so you can see the lady's life. Um, just She's on YouTube, and um, she is our Sensi consultant, and plus she has some nice little tips and tricks too so that's that and then on uh, the WW you know how you get your wins well I just got this in to put my little charms on I already have one but I already filled it up so this is my new one to put new charms on yay <laughs> a little something now the last time I got it was a keychain which was really nice Okay, what's next? Okay, later on I'm going to do, everybody knows I have a website. I want to show you, these are my shopping cart handle to give you a little more protection. And that Velcro, you just put them over your shopping cart handle and just press it and that's what you put your hands in. It's a little extra protection when you go to the grocery store. I know they're wiping down the carts, but this is just a little extra protection. The worst thing about these is you got to remember to take them off your shopping cart. <laughs> that is the worst thing. But they wash nice. They really do. Um, put them in the dryer. Um, I don't put them in a the dryer, but you can put them in the dryer. It's not going to hurt nothing. Now, I'm going to have these up for sale, and I'm going to put them on my Facebook and you can find me. Just look for Kathy Marquardt, and you'll see my little picture. I think I got sunglasses on in that picture. Um, I'll be on there. I'll be on my uh, group, um, the Marquardt Pause group maybe, or just my regular group, Weight Watchers group. Um, so you can fi find me on there, and you can order them right from there because there's a link for, um, oh, my goodness, PayPal. So, and shipping is going to be free on these, and these are $9 a piece, guys. And I've got little different ones here, the little veggie ones, and I got the little, it's got like 
burritos and tacos and all kinds of stuff on there, little zucchinis. <laughs> it's just out of material that I have. This one has a, a truck and a horse and has a little barn on it. But anyway, so that's going to be up there. And those are $9. And you can do it right through PayPal, so there's a link. No problem. And that'll be up there today, too. All right. And I think that's all I got. I'm sewing, I'm sewing some mask right now. And the mask will be up there also probably um, later on this week. Because I got a new template for a mask. And they're really nice. Um, yeah, I just love them. I love them better than the other ones that I made. So, and I will bring that to you on there, too. Okay. I've got some quotes. This first one is Jim Rohn. This is a recipe for success. Two cups of faith, two cups of love, one cup of hard work, one cup of persistence, one tablespoon of vision, and a dash of swagger. There you go. I like that. Isn't it neat? I thought that was really neat. And I, I might put that down below too because I just thought that was really interesting when I found that. All right, and this one is from Thomas Edison. I have not failed. I just found 10,000 ways that won't work. That's one way to look at it, right? <laughs> no, you, it's never a fail. There's always a teaching thing in there. Um, I say that like for people who, let's say, it's like I have worn many hats during in my life so far. Um, it's like you all know I've been in a restaurant, uh, you know, uh, owning our own business store. I've been a uh, uh, business manager uh, in a big chain store, a uh, grocery store. Uh, I've been a manager for um, cafeterias. I've worked in, um, pet, or, yeah, in nursing home. I was a, a physical therapist, uh, an aide. The physical therapist aid, where I would get everybody exercising, banner, all that good stuff. And um, let's see, I've been a um, office manager for a um, chiropractor. I have worn many, many hats, and I every time when when those jobs were done, I have taken away from it so many things, so much. Just so much I have learned and I have kept that and it's helped me in my journey right today You know everything that I have learned I do put in my journey Every single day and I am so blessed that I have worn so many hats because You know it just opens up your mind to many many things so You know and um, I never looked at any of those things as a failure and I didn't. They were life experiences that was fantastic. I mean, really, you know, I've had some, one job that they did cutbacks and that's mainly the reason why I left any of the jobs was cutbacks. But um, I just, I felt bad about it. But then I looked at it and it was, a, it was an experience. You know, it was experience that I had to have and I learned from them and it's been great so and now it's like I do my own thing at home besides taking care of all everything that the home has to deal with you know I'm bringing you guys little goodies and I'm making dog treats I'm making all kinds of things so I mean you know and I keep busy I make my goat's milk soap I make just old-fashioned soaps you know so I mean you know, I, I keep myself very, very busy. And plus, I'm growing vegetables outside. I'm doing, I'm just busy, busy, busy. And I love it. It keeps me, keeps me young. <laughs> okay. Well, I hope you guys are having a great week. Um, and to start off your new week, you're going to have a good one. Just, you know, good thoughts in those minds. And let me see. I will be seeing you real soon in my kitchen. I got some cook with me's coming up. Yep, I got I got quite a few coming up. So there you have it. Um, 
And I also, before I go, you know I've got a couple of minion, minion quotes, <laughs> minion tips. <laughs> They're silly, but I love them. All right. This first one is a balanced diet is food in both hands. <laughs> right? <laughs> Crazy. All right. Now they have a tip for our diets. Here's, here's her minion diet tip. Your pants won't get too tight if you don't wear any. <laughs> I could say something about that, but I'm not going to. Anywho. No, never mind. Y'all probably know anyway. I'm going to go ahead and say because I'm probably going to get squashed on this one. To that little joke tip that I just said, there's a certain store, and I'm not going to name any names, there's a certain store that you go into, and people just wear anything. I don't know if you've noticed. It's crazy. I don't know why. I don't know if they don't have a mirror, or they just don't care, or, or what, but I've seen some Awful, awful things. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm not supposed to judge. I'm so sorry. Guys, have a great day. Put your pants on. <laughs> Bye, guys. I'll see you real soon in my kitchen. Have a great day. Bye now.